Lions, it's mid-July and orientation week is only about a month and a half away. That's right, but some of you guys might be wondering, what exactly is orientation week all about? And that's why we're going to be telling you 7 things you'll need to know about orientation week coming right up. Welcome back to our York 101 video series. I'm Mayu. And filling in for Kathy who's sick today, I'm Elise. And today's video topic is on orientation week. Now, the first thing you'll want to know about orientation week is that it actually goes by a couple of different names. Whether it's orientation week, or frosh week, or just frosh, or O week, or just orientation. Now the second thing you should know is that the purpose of orientation week is to welcome you into your first year and have you participate in a whole bunch of awesome orientation events. Yes, there are some parties, but that's definitely not what it's all about. You'll get to discover campus resources, learn about your program of study, move into residence, that's if you're living in residence, and also get to meet some new people and make some new friends. Exactly, it's honestly so much fun. And that brings us to point number three on our list, and that is that orientation is for everyone. Here at York, we pride ourselves on being inclusive and diverse and offer orientation events for new students, mature students, international students, and even grad students. Okay, we'll let you take a breather now, Mayu. Now number four is that we actually have an orientation website that will be updated all summer long with new information as soon as it becomes available. So be sure to bookmark the link that we'll put in the description box below. That's right, and on this website, you'll see the dates for orientation week, which is our fifth point. Orientation week runs from August 31st all the way until September 8th. The sixth thing you'll need to know is that York Orientation Day is happening on September 3rd. And this is one of the biggest events of the week, so you definitely don't want to miss it. You'll spend the first part of your day with your college and faculty. And here, you'll be able to meet some of your professors and upper year students in your program. You'll also get a little mini tour of where you might be having your classes. The second part of the day is the official York Welcome Ceremony and will take place at the York Stadium. Now all new York students will be attending and the night will be finished off with an awesome fireworks display. Okay, here's the part you've probably been waiting for. The seventh thing you'll need to know about Orientation Week is that you have to purchase a frosh kit in order to attend these orientation events hosted by your own college councils. These events include anything from parties to boat cruises to trips to Wasega or Wonderland and much more. Right. And want to know how to buy your frosh kit? Don't worry, we got you covered. We'll let you know right about now. Step 1. Visit the UStar website and sign into your account. Step 2. Click University 101 on the right hand side. Step 3. Click Orientation. Step 4. Scroll down all the way until you see a red button titled Sign Up for Orientation. By clicking this, it will lead you to sign up for York Orientation Day and the purchase links for Frosh Kits right afterwards. Okay folks, that's our video for today. And if you want to know more about first year tips, make sure to click the playlist right here. Also make sure to like this video and subscribe and hit the notification bell for our future York 101 videos. Well, that's all we have for today. We'll catch you in a new video next week. See you guys and as Cabby does, bye! bye.